my friend was like, yo, you want to go to a comedy show? Shout out Darian. Shout out Darian. This guy fucking knows, bro. This guy's done his research. Shout out fucking Danny Miranda. This guy has done the most research I've ever seen in my life. Um, fuck yeah. Brixton Bookmonger. <laughs> What's that all about? Um, so Brixton Bookmongers. Um, yeah, you did research, huh? Um, Brixton Bookmongers. Uh, Build up tension and release it. That's a yeah. story in a so, nutshell. How did yeah. you come up with that? And where? what does that mean exactly? Um... Wow, great question. Dude, you do such good research. This is like, you're like reminding me what I've said in the world too, which is crazy. Um, you guys like to do is leave massive tips unexpectedly for waiters and waitresses at restaurants. Yeah, we do like to do that. Yeah, it's funny. I don't, I don't remember having ever stated that publicly, but that's good, good research. Um, you saw Neville go on a date. He really enjoyed it. And you became jealous or maybe not jealous is the right word. How'd you hear that? <laughs> we do our research here. Okay. And no, I thought that was like a private text message to him. Did he tell you about that? <laughs> no, he didn't oh, tell me about okay. it. You, you talked about that on a previous podcast. Like I do. I was always like class clown, disruptive somewhat. So you uh, even listed that on your resume. I did. As class clown was one of the first things you listed. On my resume. Where, what, where, where you, had, you saw my resume? Yeah. How'd you see my resume? We do our research here. Is it on LinkedIn? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> what is Falcon Oath? Wow. Where did <laughs> interesting? Okay, it was your mission to play D one lacrosse, and in high school you actually had forty two goals your senior year, so that's pretty impressive. Oh, whoa! And <laughs> and, wow, and Samir, scary. Samir, yeah. not too bad yourself. You played Pacific on February thirteenth, two thousand ten, and had five goals and five assists. You're so right. yeah. ten points, ten points in one game. Get yeah. out of here! Yeah, yeah, go. Cool. Unbelievable! Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. So how similar? is getting in the flow while playing lacrosse similar to filmmaking? That's a great, first of all, great research. Second of all, uh, great question. You know, I, when you were working for a private consulting project at Nike and you started examining obesity trends in the United States, <laughs> what was that all about? Man, this is some seriously deep research you did. I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, Let's start with the origami summer camp. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, wow. Good job. What's one thing you could do to make 2022 the happiest year of your life? Wow. Um, what a question. And by the way, great questions, man. Um, really good and uh, very insightful. And I, I appreciate it. You met Elon Musk when you were 12. What did you ask him? And what was that experience like? <laughs> I don't know how you picked up on that detail. You went to Burma, I believe, and they noticed your blue eyes. Yeah. And that was an impactful experience for you. You're so good. The research, where'd you even find that? We do You're our work so here. so good. I'd love to start with the, fr the fifth period. What was the fifth period all about? Wow. The fact that you even know what the fifth period is. So when I was in high school. Feel the transition from outsider to insider. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, God, you're good at this, Annie. Uh, um, <laughs> Your first 100-day streak yeah. <laughs> on YouTube. And particularly, I think it was day 87 okay. when, oh, God. when you went to the hospital but didn't stop. Take us back to that moment. Okay. Wow. You really did your homework. Um, your brother lost $6,300 of his college fund. What oh, was that experience like for you? That's good research. How how do you get obsessed with food? I think that's something probably a lot of people who just follow you on Twitter don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this question. You're so good, Danny. Um, Wanting to become a veterinarian slash garbage truck driver. <laughs> what led that to be your earliest interests and passions for a future career? That's funny. It's funny that you know that. Um, yeah, you asked me a lot of deep questions dude i really poured my soul into this one so uh thank you yeah you graduated in three years with a double major what was that experience like <laughs> um great question great question these guys does research that's what i like that's what i like hypothetical situation oh, someone well. <laughs> gives you big sean's phone number what do you say to him how much research have you done <laughs> <laughs> I do. I try to uh, go deep on, uh, oh, on my guess. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I forgot that I even to put that out there. Testament to, you know, I've told you this before. You are an incredible, incredible, uh, you're incredible at what you do, right? You're an incredible podcaster. Uh, you can pull things out of people and I've really noticed that about you. So yeah, I mean, if we had a brilliant conversation and I'd say majority of it has to do with the quality of questions asked. So I want to thank you for that. Hey, I think this is a, a really good podcast. I enjoy it. Um, I know I talk a lot, but it's it's fun to sort of talk to someone who, who um, who's listening. <laughs> so this is really good. Thank you for having me. It's been a lot of fun. You're a pretty good interviewer. Have people told you that? Once or twice. If you, if you do it 180 times. Once or twice, right? <laughs> if you do it 180 times, you're, you're about to... <laughs> get good or, or at least get better than what you were. So thank you, man. I appreciate that.